No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah. Property. Now turn around. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon! I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I've been here. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. Blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look out! Oh, shit. oh god. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. I'll... I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. What? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. 
Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, th I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've got Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Anything about their life? I'm gonna radio uh, you hey, I heard. Like you know? I mean, what you did for us, how you. The Rippers, all of them, I just. I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had. We had to. <laughs> look. They were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I... <laughs> don't be such a stranger.
Yeah, yeah. Who's man? What's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks for a dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me. No, didn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey. Yeah, sure it followed. Jack would have loved that. Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. <laughs> all right, easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, now. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta go. Ish. Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. Ryan. Man, listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Oh, hey, me again. I know. I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... Whew. Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't. Take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Well, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because... Uh, I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. 
and uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him, Jesse. I had to. I mean, guy was a goddamn psychopath. But uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we we blew him up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp. We drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I'll I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall... that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all the misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe in lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. That's, uh, that's actually pretty good advice. For once. A little late, but it's good advice. We have left to say. Jesse Carlos Williamson. Rest in peace. No oh, shit, what the hell happened here? Oh, man, my dear. If 
possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about Deacon St. John Wait a sec, I got it So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Roth. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer, Boozer man, come back. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south. The Byzantium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Hey, Iron Mike is, is not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every little trail in 100 miles, and there was a... Uh, Tielsen, Tielsen, yes. Tielsen, yes. Yeah, why the hell you...
lost hope. We always knew. We never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... If there's even a chance that she's alive, I... Well, I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Um, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help with the water. I'll see you when you get back to camp. Who's around? Okay, okay. See you, Booze Man. See ya. Ah, Jesus, man. When the Rippers hit us, <laughs> I, I thought we were... Yeah, see ya, Deke. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how you doing? You can never go wrong with a tuna. Stop by anytime. Let's see what the old man's got to say. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. You told me once that I... Uh, told you nothing. Go on, oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did... Out of you get out of here! You leave me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? I thought I put Sarah on a chopper. I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole! I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promise me you don't come back. I got you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. 
Bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. World belongs to them now. We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> We rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. She's out there. You can find her. <laughs> 